Leon Todd for G66. Welcome to another Tuesday Tone Tip. On today's video, I want to show you how you can take a bridge single coil tone and fatten it up to make it sound a little bit more like a guitar equipped with a bridge humbucker. Before I do this though, I want to say 95% of the time when I grab my Strat, I want to get that wiry single coil tone out of it. That's why I have a Strat. But there are sometimes situations, for example, if you're at a gig with a Strat and a guitar with humbuckers and you break a string on the guitar with humbuckers and you're stuck playing your single coil guitar and it's just not quite happening. You want some kind of corrective EQ block in there just to get into the ballpark. You know, I'm not trying to clone the tone of another guitar here or anything like that. That's a totally different topic of conversation, but I just want to show you a few little ways we could thicken up the sound of this particular guitar. I actually did a video on my channel last week, which I will link in the video description, doing the opposite where I could get more of a Strat single coil like tone out of my humbucker equipped guitar. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to play a little riff on the Cameron CCV2A, one of my favorite crunchy Marshall style amps in the Axe FX, and then I'll grab my PRS SC, which is in a totally different tuning, totally different scale length, you know, different pickups, all that kind of stuff. It's a very different guitar. And I just want you to have a listen to the differences between these two guitars. And then I'll show you the little corrective EQ and show you how it can kind of push this guitar a little bit closer to a guitar equipped with humbuckers. Let's go. <laughs> Now, before we get into the specifics of this corrective parametric EQ, I want to show you a few things you might want to try first in the amp block. And the really obvious one with a strap would just be to turn the bass up a little bit and turn the treble down. So let me do that and we'll have a listen to the before and after. <laughs> So it's a very simple case of just dialing in the amp for the guitar and a lot of the time if you're struggling with other people's presets or the factory presets it's as simple as just twisting a few knobs like that. Alternatively I could bring the bass back down and the treble back up and engage the fat switch which is going to shift the amp block mid frequency. Let's hear that now. <laughs> Also sounds pretty cool as well. Alternatively, there is an input EQ control here in the amp block. And between the samples with the Strat and the SC245, you can hear that the Strat has a lot more high end going on in there. So the first little trick would be to do this. Let's set the input EQ type to be a low shelf. Let's bring the frequency up to around 2K. And then I'm just gonna pump up a bunch of low end with the strats. So let's bring the gain up to about 3 dB. Uh, furthermore, I could play around with this definition control, which is kind of going to tilt everything like that. So it's going to increase the low end and decrease the high end. We get this. <laughs> I could then of course add something like a high cut in there as well. Let's set that to around 6 or 7k. The only issue with using the amp block input EQ is there's no way to turn it on or off. So having a dedicated block to do this would be the way to go. So I'm going to bring this low shelf frequency down. I'm going to set the gain off. I'll turn the high cut all the way back up and we'll set the definition back to zero. So we're basically reset. I'm also just going to set my amp block to where it was. So what do we have? We had four, seven and seven for the EQ. Now for the super fun, let's go to this parametric EQ block and it looks pretty crazy in here. If you haven't watched my video where I did the corrective EQ to go from humbuckers to single coils, essentially what I did was I used an EQ match in a plugin called Fab Filter Pro Q3, and then I copied those values into the parametric EQ block. So before we talk about them, let's hear them. And I think this is about as close as we can get with these two guitars. <laughs>
Now, of course, it doesn't sound exactly the same, but you will notice in there that that really aggressive chirpy top end, especially when you pick quite hard, is gone from the Strat there. So what I discovered here was, let's take a look at this EQ right here. This is a shelving filter with 2.35 dB of gain, around 2K. So that amp block input EQ trick where we used a shelving filter around 2K translates directly in here. The big difference is in the high end. So single coils are going to have basically the structure where they are a low pass filter with a particular resonant peak on them. So what we're trying to do here is actually defeat that resonant peak. And uh, it looks kind of complex, but basically you can see around, well, pretty close to 9K, we're pulling out quite a bit of gain with a very sharp Q, and then a little under 8K, we're pulling out even more gain with a lighter Q there. So that's to take out all that aggressive high end, but there's this kind of weird little sub peak in there as well, which to be honest, I can defeat this and set this to zero. I don't think it makes a massive difference. You can leave this out and you could just use something as simple as a shallow high cut, or you could just plug these values straight in. Again, they're very guitar dependent, but I will share this preset for anybody who wants to try out these values. So let's hear that at zero and this one at six. This is kind of the complex weird bit of it. <laughs> And to be honest, it's kind of doing the trick there. You could even go further and say, hey, I don't want to be authentic. I want to use this to actually sculpt my ideal tone. And, you know, to me, I like a little bit more beef in a strat. So let's pull this particular value up and let's pull some of this high end down even further. And we get this. <laughs> So there you go, that's what I would call a pickup compensator. It's not really cloning the sound of a guitar. It's just kind of pushing you into that kind of ballpark region. And this would be great to have saved in maybe an alternative preset in your live set. Again, if you're going from a Strat to a Les Paul style guitar or something like that, you can watch the video that I did on my channel to pick up the specific technique I use to get these values, or you can just use these values as a starting point and play around with them and use your ears and dial in something that sounds really good to you. Because again, you know, every single guitar is gonna sound different. Two PRS SC245s are going to sound different enough to one another where they're gonna have their own character. And to me, that's part of the fun of having a lot of guitars. You know, look who's talking right here. Character, they're all different tools, but anything that can, I guess, help bridge that divide and make things slightly easier to work with in a live context is a good thing. So like I said, I will share this preset. I've also shared my humbucker to single coil preset on Axe Change as well. I'll link those in the video description. If you have any specific questions or comments, let me know in the comment section below and I'll see you all next Tuesday for another Tuesday Tone Tip. Thanks for watching.